Come on, lady. Oh, yes, you are a beauty. But there's no food for you today. I got no food for you. Hey, where are you going, dude? What's going on, everyone? We're hanging out here in Slinky's abode. Kate and the kids are hanging out with Lobo. It's going to be an all hands on deck day at the camp because I don't know if you guys have noticed in the last few videos, Slinky's house is pretty overgrown, man. Things are looking real lush and I think it's time to peel back some of the vegetation. But more than that, uh, in addition to cleaning up Slinky's hangout, we're also going to go ahead and work on Cayman Creek. We're gonna put some of the aquatic plants that we have in here, we'll transplant some of them, maybe some of the Mexican papyrus, maybe some of this blue Hawaiian alocasia, and some regular papyrus, and maybe some grasses and stuff. We're gonna start doing that, so Kate and the kids, and the whole family's gonna help me out there. So what we've gotta do, uh, there's the crew. They are gonna be doing a lot of work. Say hello, guys, there we are. It's gonna be fun, man. So today's gonna be a day of getting this enclosure and Cayman Creek in order. Um, what I wanted to do was show Kate um, how to plant some of the plants in the actual Cayman Creek area. So what I need to do, quite simply, is let's see what's a nice easy one. Let's get this alocasia right here. We'll just literally pull it up. Oh, I got to dig it up, don't I? Let me see. There's got to be an easier one that I can pluck right out while Slinky's doing his thing right there. Oh, by the way, I also removed some of the weeds here. I was pulling back some weeds uh, because what can happen is when the weeds and stuff clog up this stream, it's possible it'll backflow and it could fall out over the liner and eventually just lead to it actually um, losing water. So we don't want to do that. Uh, we want to keep this uh, flowing nicely and that's what we're going to do. So let's just go ahead and give them a tutorial how we like to plant in an aquascape ecosystem. I just gotta pull this one out. I think I got it. Yeah, here we go. So we got some alocasia right here. And let's walk on over to the other enclosure. And I'll give Kate kind of a heads up as to what, what's going on. She's never planted aquatic plants. It's pretty easy, hon. Okay. It's good. It's good fun. Let's go. It's fun to have the whole crew hanging out today. We got some, we're gonna see what we can get accomplished. These are just some little things we can do to kind of get this ready because I'm supposedly gonna have some uh, fence going up this week, which it's about time. I'm, I'm excited to get this rolling. Here's one I planted the other day, just yesterday. So what I like to do, hon, it's very simple. We'll just kind of peel back these rocks. Lobo's gonna help, of course. We're gonna pull these rocks back all right i like to go deeper because what happens is if you don't before they you know before these guys really start their roots hold that right on the action buddy leo's got the camera come back logo see we got one little rhizome thing there but i want to go deeper so that this can stand up you know mm -hmm. so we just pull back and of course logo's going to drive make life extremely challenging for us here <laughs> It's so fun having a puppy. It is actually, but it can be a pain in the neck as well. So what I'll probably do is I can take my little knife and I can cut off just these dead ones here. I'll use my little fingers too, apparently. That works too. <laughs> Say, where's your knife? Yeah, there you go. That's it. There you go. It's that simple. So what I'm gonna do is just get you guys set up. I'm gonna start cleaning out that enclosure and some of the plants that I think can actually do well from around the property. I might even grab some elephant ears. We can plant them in here. Uh, I think we can transform this place by the end of the day or in a couple of hours if he doesn't destroy everything. And uh, we'll, we'll get a real, uh, make some headway on Cayman Creek. Now you guys notice, look at this. We got a lot of algae growing. And the reason the algae is growing is it's the only plant that's taken root, okay? And because it's the only plant, it's getting all of this nutrients that's in the water. So we wanna plant a lot of aquatic plants. Look at this guy, loves algae. He loves algae. Go get it! Ah, uh, there you go, you disgusting dog, yeah. Anyway, we want more plants in here to, to kind of compete for the nutrients in Cayman Creek. 
And the other thing is if I can get plants established uh, before the caiman actually get in here, that's even better too, because they're, you know, reptiles are hard on plants. They move around, they walk around, they really bang things up. Okay, so you'll be seeing a lot of Slinky today and uh, a lot of Lobo. Oh, he's fine eating that algae. Yeah, he's, he's going vegan for the day. Yeah. Yeah, a little gross. Can't wait to get kisses from him later. Uh, all right, we're off and running. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Looking good in here, people. We still have a few uh, plants I want to trim back, but we got this big pile of uh, good stuff. We got the missus hanging to, and uh, she's gonna help me out. I'm gonna give her a slight heart attack because I had an idea. Instead of dumping this all um, in the front. Hold for... on, hold on, let me close this. Yeah, we're gonna close it. I wasn't oh. gonna forget, I was just moving. Um, instead of dumping that for the uh, waste disposal folks to come grab it. I thought, you know what? Um, we've been hearing some gator bellowing, which means that, you know, love is in the air at Fred's Lagoon over here. So I thought, let's go over and I'm gonna dump all this stuff, all this vegetation in an area and then see if Lady Dale, so there's Lady Dale, and she's always very interested in whatever I'm up to. So let's get moving. Uh, so I thought, you know what? Let's get some vegetation in an area, maybe in this corner, and see if uh, she uses it. What do you think? Oh, that sounds fun, as long as I don't have to go in. E well, you might have to go in a little Come bit. Come on, that's never gonna Everyone happen. Everyone wants to see how brave you are. I'm, I'm not brave, everyone knows that. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm not gonna have any accidents with a Lobo. I right, don't well, think I can recover. Careful. I'm being very careful, the gators are nowhere near us. Okay, look, God, look. My foot is That's over. I mean. I Yay, I'm brave. I'm in a little bit more. They're way Come on. Way. All right, this, I'm in. Oh my God. You are in. Shut the gate. No, I'm not shutting the gate. Shut the gate. I'm not going to shut the gate. Everyone can see. Where is it? Where is it? Where's what? The thing. Oh what God, thing? it's coming. I see it. I see you it. See what? The thing, the huge one. Snaggletooth? Yeah. yeah. Grab this. I'll take this. Let's say hello to the kids, shall we? They're not going to get fed today. Uh, my buddy Tanner Serpa was over here. Here is big old Snaggy Poo. Look at the size of him. Is he gorgeous? Come on, Snaggy. Come on out here and scare my wife a little bit. Show everyone. Yeah. Bye. Come on, Snags. So Snaggy's doing good. Like I said, and here comes Dale. Um, look at how he, he he's so sneaky. He goes under. Now watch this. Let's see what he does. Where is he? I'm being careful. There he is. Come on, Snag. Come on. Here he comes. He's going to come out and chase me. Come on, Snag. Good boy. I don't have food, though. Look at the size of him, hon. Isn't he beautiful? Harkin, get out of there. Oh, my gosh. You know when I call you Harkin, I mean business. She means business. Here he comes. There's the Snaggy Tooth. Oh, I love this guy. Anyway, you know, he notices that I don't have a bucket. And if I don't have the bucket, I don't have food. You so, 
No, I'm not the food. He is gorgeous. Anyway, I just thought this would be pretty cool. Oh, she's walking? Look at her, look at her. Look at these two, man. Look at the size difference between he and her. My gosh. Wow. Isn't that cool? Well, I want her to see what we did. So there's our little pile of, you know, detritus. Is it detritus? Oh, look at she's high walk. Oh, God, I love when she does that. Come on, lady. Oh, yes, you are a beauty. But there's no food for you today. I got no food for you. She seems awfully feisty. I'd get out of Yeah, you think? I think so. You think she's feisty, hon? Nope, look, sweetie, everything's good. Everything's good. Why are you running away? What if I needed help for God's sakes? Jeez, anyway, we got them. I love these animals. So cool, right? What do you think, hon? I, I do love them. It's pretty cool. But I'm terrified. Yeah, and we're not getting divorced. No, not because yet. No, because when I originally told her we were getting alligators, that was what came out of her mouth. Yeah, I mean, I didn't realize it was going to be this beautiful and cool. I got a little nervous. I can't see things in my mind the way you do. Look at her go. Look at this, guys. Look, she found it. Oh my gosh, did she actually find all that? What is going on here? She hears me. She's really coming after me. But I just don't... It's funny that she came over to this side. Look, here's all this vegetation. You know what? Let me go. Let me show her it. Let's show her the vegetation. Let's see. No, no, I want to go back in. I love driving my wife crazy. Let me just see what she's doing. I want to show her this. Uh, Look at this. Careful. Look at this. What does she see? Me. She sees the stuff. Come get it. Look at that's for your baby. Oh my gosh. Wow. Guys, this is really cool. I mean, this is really cool. That's for your baby. What do you think, hon? What do you think of that? That looks like a nice pile. You can scrape more and some sand. And so that's what gators do. If she does in fact ha is gravid, which means if she has eggs, she would then scrape together with her mouth all kinds of vegetation. Listen, she's hissing. Oh no, she's not. That's the water. That's, the, that's someone's well. <laughs> I was like, no way, she's actually protecting a pile of leaves. There's not even eggs in there. It sounded like a hiss, but it's actually someone's well came on. Silly me. Anyway, um, I do think it's interesting how she even came over here, though. That's pretty cool. So we're going to let her do her thing. Maybe she needs some privacy to build that nest. Look at that monster. He is an absolute monster. I love him. All right, let's shut up our dog, too, because I'm sure the neighbors love that. Now we're, well, I guess we're just like... We're those people, but you know what? Our neighbors are those people too, because they all have dogs. So we're just fitting on in with a barky dog right now because he's still a little guy and he gets a little nervous if we're not around. I still have some more um, cleaning of Slinky's enclosure to do. Then we're gonna plant a few plants, um, you know, on Cayman Creek and Cayman Creek is getting finished this week. So I'm excited. All right, thanks, hon. Look at those muscles, I love my wife. Look at how strong she Put is. Me to work. Oh, she's the best. All right, I'll see you guys later. Well, I'll see you in a minute because I got more work to do. This house is clean. I'll move you, everybody. Anyway, uh, we got them. We are done, people. We went ahead and we trimmed up everything. Let me show you. Uh, I'm liking it. It's looking real clean. Very important for us to do this. This is once a year. The water's already starting to clean up again. That's because of the powerful Aqua Surge pumps that Aquascape makes and their incredible ecosystem that they have built here. The plants have been pulled back. The reason you want to do this once in a while 
when the plants grow so big, I know a lot of us like a jungly look and I know he appreciates it too. But what we like to do is when we remove the vegetation from the water, you're actually removing some of the nitrates from the water column as well. The plants are using that as fertilizer. They're growing real big. When you cut them back, you're removing that from the water and in turn making the water healthier for him to drink and for the fish to swim in. So it's good that we do this periodically. And you can see, he's just kind of checking things out. He's still got the same smells. So he knows, hey, this is my house, but it looks different. And it'll grow again, it'll grow wild, and we'll do this again in another year. Uh, honestly, in a couple of months, this thing will be back to being a full-on jungle. But what's really cool is we were able to take some of the plants and transplant them over to Cayman Creek. So I'm really excited about that. We'll head over there in a moment. I just love watching this guy swim and explore his home. It is so cool to see Slinky enjoying himself out here, especially after, of course, almost losing him a couple of years ago. It's really fun for me uh, to be able to take care of this animal to such a degree. And I couldn't have done it without my friends from Aquascape and my buddy Jerry, who helped me build this glorious enclosure, my friend Brian Battle. Uh, thank you guys, because not a day goes by that I'm not super excited about how this animal just wanders around in the enclosure, is happy in the enclosure. And uh, man, you know, to be honest, today was fun. I love when the family's out with me. I love doing some yard work and it really gets you closer to your animals because you understand what they're living in, what they're doing. So very important to get out there and do this kind of husbandry. Uh, it's healthy for the plants, for the water, for the fish, and of course, for the king of the camp, good old Slinky. So really, really excited about that. Oh, also got to shout out my buddy Stuart from Universal Rocks because Slinky's got the best looking enclosure I've ever seen and uh, he definitely deserves it. So thanks so much to Stuart for helping me out by dressing up this enclosure so well. Still got to get my button gear and get to work over there. But as you can imagine, I've got a lot of things that I need to do. Let me show you Cayman Creek. I'll show you what we did with this. Oh, got to get out of here. Sometimes I don't want to leave or the enclosure doesn't want me to. So we'll go ahead and shut it up. Give me one second. Very good, very good. Yeah, so let me show you guys what's going on. Oh, Pinky's doing well, by the way. She's she's actually right here. Look at her. She's on her porch. She's on her porch. Hi, Slinky. Uh, Pinky. Hi, Pinky girl. Pinky poo. That's a Pinky. That's a little Pinky girl. I love you. Very cool. But check it out. Here's what we did with Cayman Creek. We uh, took some of the water plants rather than buy all new ones. I've got tons of grasses that I transplanted. This is starting to grow back. We got some of the elephant ears, alocasia. Um, we're gonna plant, of course, more. And as you saw, some of the ferns that pop up just come naturally. Uh, they're native ferns here in Florida. They'll fill in. There'll be some grasses that are gonna fill this in. And what's neat is the movement of the caiman uh, in the environment are gonna agitate a lot of the soil and it's gonna lift it all up. The kids pulled out a lot of the algae. It's gonna lift up, go into the vault system down below. Uh, here's the wetland. You can see we put some Mexican papyrus in it. Um, it's going to take a little while for this papyrus to root better. I used one of the Aquascape planters, one of their little mesh planters they have. Um, but of course, what I need to have happen, the wind will blow this over a little bit. Once the roots dig in, the new stalks are going to grow straight up. So what I'm happy about is they'll come out of this little bag okay and then they'll just populate this wetland filter and their roots will go down deep and in a year we're gonna have to do the same clean out we did with slinky but over here it's just gonna be amazing man uh we're putting up the we're putting up the fence this week uh so the next time you see this enclosure hopefully it'll be done and we can go get some caiman in it uh that'll be exciting and fun to see the animals in it it's been a while but these things take money and time and uh you know what sometimes i gotta save up man uh anyway we've got little papyrus growing here so all this is gonna really supercharge this ecosystem you can't have an ecosystem without plants and you cannot have an ecosystem without fish so we're gonna get fish i'm thinking i might try and put some tetras in here um they're small but they'll populate nicely they'll look pretty and i think they'll be small enough that the caiman won't really bother with them if you guys have any ideas of south american fish that i could put in here that are tiny that do a good job of you know cleaning and doing their thing it would be pretty cool maybe a few plecos i know that they're also south american so that'll be pretty neat but yeah so it's going to be a real ecosystem i'm going to get to work there's going to be a lot going on this weekend uh and we're going to get this thing built man so ruben's on the way it's going to be fun cannot wait 
to see the Cayman in here because you know what? It's just changed the dynamic having those gators and uh, having these came in here is gonna be just amazing as well. All right, everyone, there you go. There's a video for you, a uh, little yard work, but hey, we saw a slinky, we saw some gators, we did some gator stuff. That's always fun. I like how the whole yard is becoming an ecosystem that I can share uh, with you guys and also share, you know, one man's waste is another female gator's treasure. Uh, she'll build a nest out of that, hopefully. So we're giving her the raw materials to do her natural behavior as well. Awesome stuff. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you have fun today? Do you mind getting dirty? I love it. And it was fun to have the family out with me. I hope you're with your family or friends, wherever you may be, and that you're staying safe and you're having a great time. Why don't you get on outside and enjoy our beautiful world. Talk to you soon.